Hi everyone, today we're going to learn how to draw some different types of spiders. I'm going to teach you how to draw three really simple and easy spiders and at the end even show you how to draw a really easy spider web. So get your pencils ready and let's get ready to start. So the first spider we're going to draw, we're going to start with uh, just a little line across our page like this. Okay, for the next part, we're going to draw the back of the spider. We're going to do like almost like an oval type shape around like this. Now let's put two curving lines in like this. We're going to do a little line that comes out and another one that comes out. And now we're going to do a curving line that joins those two lines together. Okay, now let's just put um, two little dots here. We'll create some eyes. Okay, we need to put some legs on our spider. So our spider has eight legs. So we're gonna do our spider. We're gonna do one big long leg out the front. And let's do another line next to it to make a big long thin leg. And let's put a little point on the end. Now, I'm just gonna add some lines. And now I'm going to do another one on the other side, just like the first one. We're going to try and keep our legs the same size. Okay, we need another leg. Let's make this leg go out this way. Let's make it a long, thin leg. Let's put some lines in. Let's do another leg the other side. some lines in. Okay, now let's put some back legs in. Now, if you run out of space here, you can just change them a little bit so they fit. Okay, let's go like this. A big, long leg out the back. And let's put another big, long leg out the back this side. Okay, and now I'm gonna put another leg. I'm gonna make this leg go behind. Let's do something a little bit tricky here. Let's make this leg go here. And then I'm going to stop and continue the leg like this. Stop, come around. And now we're going to make it look like this leg is underneath this leg. Let's put some of those lines in. I'm going to try that again this side. And there we have a very creepy spider, but we're not finished yet. We need to put his pincers on. We're going to do a long curving shape out the front. Another curving shape with a point out this side. And now we have a very scary looking spider. And now we just need to color it in. Okay, now we're gonna try a different type of spider. This time, we're going to make it a big hairy spider. So let's start again with um, a little ovalish shape or a circle at the front. Doesn't matter if it's not perfect, mine's not perfect. Now, let's just do another big oval shape at the back. To make its body. And let's do two lines out the front, 
like this to make a very thin V shape. And I'm just going to now join it up to the body to make a big scary mouth. In fact, I'm even going to put some little points on the end of it like this. Okay, now let's create some legs. I'm going to put a leg that comes out. Like this. Let's create one the other side. Okay, and let's create another leg behind this one. Create one on this side. Okay, one more leg here. And another leg on the other side. And now let's do a leg going back this way. another one this side just trying to keep all my legs the same size this time we might give our spider eight eyes this time so let's go one two three four one two three four eight eyes on this spider now let's put some little pincers on the back Let's give it some lines on its leg. Okay, and finally, let's make our spider have hairy legs. So I'm gonna put lots of little lines all the way around the outside. We might even put some hair on his body. Ooh, and that is a very creepy, hairy spider. Let's try another one. Okay, this time for our very last spider, we're going to do a red back spider. So let's start with a little line in the middle, like this. We're going to create the head. We're just going to do a curving shape to join that up, to make a little head. We could even put two eyes on here. And now for that big famous red back body, let's do a big round shape. And now for the red back, let's put um, a line that comes down like this maybe another line like this. And let's join it up, maybe with a pointy bit at the top. Okay, let's put in those long legs. Let's put a big skinny leg that comes out. And make it nice and skinny. Maybe even put some little lines in. Let's do one the other side. Okay, another leg. This one will bend. And another on the other side. 
just trying to keep these the same. One last big leg, all the way back down here we'll go. One more leg. And finally, we'll give him some little pincers. And there we have our famous red back spider. This time you have to color this in. He will have a black body and he will have a red back all the way down his back. Good luck with that. Okay, and here's one final last little lesson. If you want to know how to draw a spider's web, a spider's web goes like this. We're going to draw a line through the middle, a line through the other side to make a big cross. Now let's put a line through the middle but make sure our line goes right through that point here and I'm going to do one this way as well. Okay so I have all these lines that are crossing through the middle. Now you can do as many of these as you like. I might even add some more in. Just make sure they all cross through the middle. Or you can start from the middle and just draw out. Okay, now starting from the middle, I'm going to do some curving shapes like this. Like U shapes that join up all the way around. this U shape to join back to the start. Let's do the same again. Using curving lines, joining them all up. If you've never done this before, it might be a bit tricky at first, but have a practice. It might take you a few goes to, have it, to get it right. And we're gonna keep going out keep adding these curved lines in. Back to the start, let's do another one. And keep going. more lines on the outside just to fill in that space and there we go that's how we draw a cool spider web you could even draw a spider web and then put one of your spiders that you've learned how to draw in your web so there we have three really easy spiders to learn how to draw and the spider webs at the end so have lots of fun drawing them color them in and good luck with your spiders bye